Hey, what's up everybody, Nazab here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. And today is the second episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. Last episode, we had a very, very good episode. We got ourselves a silver axe. We got ourselves the first vehicle. We got ourselves a shabby sawmill. And uh, yeah, today we're gonna be just, you know, trying to get our money up. And uh, I think I just got very lucky because I just loaded into a lobby. Uh, ready to record the video and I hit load slot and everything I was ready to load my slot and I saw that there's all of this birch wood right here next to this slot uh, I'm not sure we can even grab it to be honest, but yeah, we can so we got Super lucky because in this episode I was actually planning on going and harvesting birch wood. So this is kind of free money uh, I'm not really sure if I want to grab this stuff uh, It's very very strange that I'm getting this lucky in this series. Uh, guys, it's very strange, okay? I, I promise I don't know why I'm getting so, luck so lucky. Sorry for the hiccups, but I don't, I don't know why I'm getting this lucky uh, in this series. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I think I'm just gonna take advantage of my luck before it runs out. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and process this wood and sell it real quick. And that's gonna be a good chunk of money for sure. So um, yeah, very lucky that, very lucky that that happened. What happened to that piece of wood? Why are you stuck in there, sir? I think it might be a little too. Oh, it's glitched. Okay, well, you know, sir, it's free wood. I can't really complain about the fact that it glitched. Um, we're still getting all of this wood for free here. So whoever left this here, if this was you. Uh, Thank you so much uh, for just completely abandoning your wood here. I don't know if your mom called you or something and you had to go and you just left your wood there, but uh, whatever the case might be, really do appreciate that, dude. Uh, it's gonna be a great, a great way to start this episode. I'm not actually gonna sell this wood probably right now. I'm just gonna process it real quick so that it doesn't despawn and stuff like that. Uh, and then after that, I'm gonna go and get some more birch wood and actually teach you or show you guys where it is and how to actually get it because that's what I was actually planning on doing in this episode anyways is going and getting birch wood for you guys so let's just finish processing this wood off uh, yeah interesting start to the video guys I swear to god I did not even like this is not my wood I don't know who put this here um, but it's very very lucky so I'm just I'm just gonna take advantage of this situation here and just process all this wood and we got one more log left. There's a tree chopped over there. We're in a game with only one person right now. Um, so that's interesting. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, that's not going to fit. Let's do the little move trick again. And... The, did that process? No, it's too big. It, not only, uh, sometimes the glitch will not work if the, the planks themselves, or the logs themselves are too long. Why am I using this axe? I have a silver axe. And why am I glad that I have a silver axe, okay? A silver axe is going to make this process of, of harvesting birch wood a lot easier, guys. Um, so yeah, we just got some free money here at the beginning of the video. We're three minutes into the video. We already have some birch wood. Uh, it's pretty nice. If I do say so myself, but now we're gonna go ahead and get birchwood. Actually, like actually go get some birchwood. Now there's a lot of ways that people can go, or that you can go about getting birchwood. A lot of people will just drive up the mountain, get some, put it in the car, drive it back down. It takes a long time to do that, in my opinion. Like you know, chopping the trees up there, putting them in the truck. Especially with this tiny little truck, it's it just takes a little bit too long for my liking. So what I usually do. And uh, this trick works not only for birch wood, but in the future we're probably going to use this for other stuff. I'm going to literally just drop this axe because I don't really know why I have it. And let's move this over to our first slot. And let's get ourselves a nice log here. So what I like to do is I like to get myself a limb of oak, a small limb like this. And we're going to do basically a glitch that allows us to climb walls. And uh, a lot of people do this glitch. I don't. I don't think it's really like a bad thing. It's kind of a part of the game. So we're just gonna go ahead and use it. So what you want to do is you want to stand up against the wall like this. Uh, okay. Well, that didn't work. You're gonna want to stand up against the wall like this, 
And you just kind of want to drag the wood up like that. And I just failed miserably. But, you know, you get the point. We just basically walked up the wall for a little bit there, at least. So you want to kind of just place it on your feet and walk up the wall. And you want to hold... God, are you serious? Uh, the wall... Uh, okay. Uh, well, apparently, <laughs> apparently I don't know how to do this trick. You can also use an axe. I might as well demonstrate since I dropped this axe. You can also use an axe. You don't have to use a log. I usually do better with axes, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this axe that I just dropped and uh, try to use it for, for the glitch here. So grab it and walk forward and there you go. We just walked a, up an entire ledge there just with this axe. We didn't even have to drive anywhere and we're pretty close to birch already. So if we climb up this other ledge right here, as you can see, there's a birch tree right there. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop it down. I wish there was a couple more birch trees around here. Uh, this is also a way that you can get um, golden wood, which is over there. Is just by literally just walking up the walls. And it's, it comes in pretty, pretty handy. So we're going to go ahead and just drop this tree over here. And we're probably going to get at least another tree here. Uh, I don't know. This lobby really didn't have that many trees. I was hoping there was going to be a little bit more uh, birch wood up here, but we're gonna go ahead and grab that tree over there And I'm gonna try to do the glitch so I don't have to walk up this ramp, but it might not work. Let's hope it does um, So yeah, this is this is a really good, you know thing to know how to do and you know Learn how to do and you basically want to hold W that way when you've reached the top you can walk up I just lost the log, but I don't really need it anymore and As you can see I might even get those trees over there to be honest while we're up here, we might as well get as much of the wood as we possibly can. And in my opinion, this is the fastest way to get birch wood, okay? And not a lot of people do this. Most people, when they go to get birch wood, they usually drive up the mountain and process it and stuff like that. And this also works to, to get up the volcano, which is over there, which we might do in a future episode. But yeah, usually people would just drive up the mountain, get some wood, and then drive bug down. But it just takes too long to like chop it down and chop it up into pieces that fit into your truck. And I just feel like it's just a lot simpler to just get like four trees from the mountain at once. Simply just, you know, kind of glitching up the wall like that. And yeah, that like we're right now we're seven minutes into the video and we've already got ourselves four birch trees plus the free wood that we had so hopefully uh basically what i'm trying to save up for next is the eleven thousand uh, dollar sawmill because if we were able to get that uh we are we're gonna be able to get ourselves some lava wood in the next episode which or some golden wood or you know just the the, the next types of woods that make us a little bit more money than birch so that's basically the whole point of the game you just keep upgrading keep getting better methods of making money and you slowly you slowly build up um, your money and stuff like that. So we're going to just kind of just walk these off the hill one by one. It does take a little while, but it's a lot faster, in my opinion, than going up and just, you know, chopping it up, throwing it into the truck. Like this has been it's been like five minutes and I've already like there. These trees are almost at my base, which is pretty good if you ask me. Um, but yeah, I'm actually gonna record the first like three or four episodes Right after in like right after each other like for example I literally just finished the first episode. I think like 20 minutes ago. I went to the restroom I got myself some cookies ate some chips ahoy real quick and uh, now I'm back and recording the second episode So the first few episodes might be you know back to back to back Which means basically I'm not gonna be able to read anybody's comments or uh, you know any of anything like that uh, but you know the fifth episode I will record I'll start recording either daily or Semi daily which would be like three times a week four times a week something like that right now I'm on spring break so for these first few weeks I might upload a lot more than uh, Than like usual so as you can see we're already down to the ground right next to our base Which mean you know that was really fast in my opinion. That's definitely one of the best ways to get birch wood so if you guys want to grind birch wood it is way more profitable it's the most basic the most profitable of the basic woods uh, which means cherry oak and uh, 
Birch. Birch is the most profitable and it makes you the most money. Um, so if you guys want a quick way to get a lot of birch wood real fast, this is definitely the way to do it. And it's almost as easy as getting an oak tree, honestly. Uh, just going up the mountain, kind of glitching your way up. And there's a guy over there. Uh, and no, the music, the music in the game is not fixed yet, guys. I'm literally going to have to edit the music into the game again. Because like I said, I literally recorded the first episode 20 minutes ago. Um, but we're already at $1,800, uh, which is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. This is a very, very good start to the game. Like, we... we we're getting extremely lucky. Just the fact that there was random birch wood lying around in my on my base is pretty crazy to me. So uh, yeah, like we're 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 moving pretty fast here, and I'm hoping we can you know expand this base as fast as possible and just start building some cool stuff with wood and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and we're gonna grab this. Excuse me, sir. I need you to get on my base. Um, but by far the the thing that's gonna take longest about this whole process is gonna be Processing the wood like once you get it to your base That's the easy part is getting a couple of trees and bringing them down to your base That's pretty easy a lot of people there's another method that they will use is long planking is basically where you grab a big log maybe like like a one of those logs over there those big trees I forgot what they're called um, but you grab like a big log and you basically set the planks to the smallest setting or one of the smallest settings which basically ends up making a really, really long plank, um, which allows you to basically like climb mountains and stuff like that. And people will use that method, but honestly for birch wood, it is not very efficient when you can literally just walk up the wall <laughs> using that glitch that I used earlier. There's really no point in, um, there's really no point in using the, uh, the long planking method. So this is definitely the best, best way to get a lot of birch wood real fast and hopefully uh, this wood will fit <laughs> and it yeah oh, okay it actually did fit I was about to do the, the trick and it's too big so that's sad that's very sad I'm sad about it um, so basically uh, a log basically cannot be longer than 10 units um, and a unit is basically a one by one so I set this to one by one that is one unit right there so so basically if it's longer than 10 of those, uh, the, the sawmill basically won't process it. And the way that they do the long planking, by the way, they'll usually set the height to like 0.4 and this to 1. And it'll basically make like a super long plank, which you can then use to like climb the walls and stuff. Yeah, definitely not the most efficient method for getting birch or gold wood. Uh, I, don't, I think honestly the only like reason you would ever use long planking is if you are like looking for like sinister wood or something but even then honestly there's no point in long planking it, it used to be a thing it's no longer that relevant just due to the fact that they this the wall glitch is just way more efficient and a way better way of getting wood so we're gonna go ahead and do this throw that in there and throw this in here so yeah, this is definitely gonna be the longest part. I'm thinking we're gonna be like at least at like 12,000 by the time we sell all this stuff off. And again, we are really lucky that we had those free, free pieces of wood just lying around right there. So that that's really, really handy. Just free money for us. And um, yeah, maybe next episode we might try and go and buy ourselves the Rookery X. Um, and I'll show you guys how to do that and everything. Uh, it's also called the shark axe because it has a, a shark head on it. I'm sure you guys have seen it. If not, I'll, pr I, uh, I'll show you guys in the next episode or whenever we end up getting one because it is the best axe you can get without buying it from like a different player. Like that's, that is the best axe you can get legit legitimately without like buying it from other people. Um, of course, there's a lot of like exploits in the game where people just duplicate axes and stuff So there's a lot of people selling axes and stuff like that uh, In the future we might try to find somebody selling a fire axe Because that's gonna come in very handy when harvesting lava wood, but right now Right now we only need a silver axe and we are happy with it And that might that might be a little bit too long. Yeah, I thought so so this is this piece right here is past 10 units. That is why it wouldn't sawmill. So we're gonna have to chop it in half. 
And of course, with the shabby sawmill, it, it happens a lot more. That's why it is important to invest in better sawmills as soon as you possibly can. Because it, it just it just makes you it, it just makes the ability of planking wood just so much better. And that's why I'm gonna probably invest in a sawmill next. The next sawmill or the 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 sawmill next. The the <laughs> The next sawmill that I can afford, okay, something that, I, that that's a little bit better than the shabby sawmill. Again, the shabby sawmill, I said it last episode, it's not that bad, you know? You can make some good, some good amount of money, but there's always, you always want to upgrade eventually. And oh my god, this is a lot of birch wood, guys. It's going to take me at least like three car trips to just sell it all off. So this is going to be very, very profitable. And uh, if I get enough money, we might even be able to go get the Rookery Axe instead of a Sawmill. I don't know if I should get a Sawmill first or a Rookery Axe first. So what do you guys think? Because the Sawmill is going to allow us to get Lava Wood, which honestly just sounds way better already. Like, just Lava Wood is going to make the money-making business or the money-making process so much easier. We're going to be making $30,000 per trip and stuff like that. It's going to be amazing. So... That might be what we want to invest in next. Another thing I really want to get is a bigger truck. Um, because once we get up there to the lava wood, it's going to make it so much easier to just have a, a ton of wood in our in our truck and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's definitely for a later episode. We're just going to continue processing all this birch. We already got two. So basically, I'm thinking this is like three birch trees right here, just in planks. Uh, so that's gonna be, yeah, this is gonna be a lot of money. It's, it's gonna be definitely a good chunk of money that we can use for whatever we wanna use it for. Continue chopping. Um, so yeah, this is, this is kinda like the boring parts that uh, I'm not sure if you guys want me to leave into the episode. So I'm not gonna be able to like see your guys' feedback again to like the fourth episode. Cause like I said, I'm, um, like I said, I'm literally recording like four episodes in a row and then, you know, the fifth episode will probably be the first episode where I actually am able to read comments. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys let me know down below uh, if you guys want all of these like little boring bits and stuff like that. Because I can always edit them out if you guys don't want to see them. Uh, I'm pretty good at just like talking endlessly, so uh, that's good. Well, now that I said that, now, now I got self-conscious self-conscious about it so i'm probably gonna stop talking um but yeah this is definitely like one of those boring parts that i would edit out if you guys wanted me to you know what i mean this is the type of stuff that i would end up editing out and we're already 17 minutes into the video this game literally makes time go fast like time goes so fast and it's still super quiet so i'm definitely gonna edit in some music it's very awkward to just like i don't know if you guys like like, I don't know how many of you guys have tried, be like, making YouTube videos and stuff like that. Um, and how awkward it can actually feel to, like, sit in your room talking to yourself. It can feel very awkward, especially, like, if you, like, if there's people in your house or something. I'm always very, very self-conscious about it. Like, okay, they're probably listening to what I'm saying and stuff like that. They probably aren't. Right now, I'm home alone, so there's, that's not a problem, but... It can be very awkward to just sit in your room talking endlessly, okay? It's definitely not, you know, it's, it definitely takes a little bit of uh, getting used to. That's all I could, that's all I could really say, unless, you have, unless you're just like a really confident person. Uh, I'm pretty introverted, like in real life. Um, so, it's interesting. It's interesting that I, I would want to make YouTube videos, but um, I've always wanted to make YouTube videos since I was little. I've always been fascinated with the idea of making a YouTube video and just, you know, playing a game and people watching and having a community. That just seems like so much fun. So hopefully this YouTube channel can grow and stuff like that. So it might take a while, you know, we're gonna continue uploading constantly. It's all about consistency. These first few episodes probably won't have very many views or likes or comments or anything like that, but I'm not expecting them to. I'm just literally just recording for fun. Um, I have nothing better to do right now, it's spring break. So, that's great. Let's go ahead and grab this, throw that over there. Throw that. We have a huge pile of birchwood, guys. Like, this is huge. That's like a lot of birchwood. Like, it's gonna take me like five car trips, especially with the tiny little car, to, to just be able to like sell all of that stuff off. But I think we're gonna have a really good chunk of money by the end of this episode. And I'm really surprised how fast we're progressing 
in this series. Like it's barely episode two, and we're we're make we're doing a lot more than I thought. I thought we'd be like episode four and barely going up to the mountain, like getting birchwood and stuff like that. But we're progressing pretty quickly and getting very lucky. Um, so I'm very happy about that. I'm gonna just respawn my car. It's eight bucks, might as well. And now we're gonna do endless trips to get all this birchwood sold off, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. Another thing that we could buy is more land. Now that I think about it, more land seems like a pretty good investment. Because uh, right now we're still on like a tiny little plot of land and we can't really build anything on there. Um, but yeah, it's between either a sawmill, more land, or rookery axe. I just wish I had infinite money and I could buy all of those things, but I don't. I only have a thousand dollars right now. But that's about to change, for sure. I'm gonna get quite a bit of money from this this birch pile here. Um, yeah. It might look like a big pile, but honestly, that I don't think we really could even build that much stuff with that wood, like that amount of wood. It would it would take a lot more wood to like actually build like a base and stuff. But it's a good start. Like for for being a second episode, I'm pretty surprised that we're we're doing this well. But we're gonna just go ahead and drive this back to the cell, the wood drop off, and there's our guy over there. There's only one other person in this lobby. Um, if you guys want to know how I actually pick my servers, because I do go into like. Uh, lobbies with only like one person basically what I do is I have the the extension Roblox plus I think it's called so if you go like on the Chrome browser and you search in like uh, Roblox plus you can get the Chrome extension and it basically allows you to go to the very very end of like server lists when you go like okay this guy this guy just try to add me um, I don't accept friend requests by the way so if you guys friend request me I have like quite a few friend requests and I don't really accept them unless I know you in person, like in real life. Uh, or like we collaborate or whatever the case may be. So just from that little pile right there, we were at $3,500. So that's, <laughs> that's really good money guys. That's definitely, definitely a good amount, a good chunk of money right there. So. Yeah, this is this is progressing pretty quickly. I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting this much progress this quickly, but like I was saying, if you guys like want to find empty lobbies and stuff, because I will not lie, some people are kind of annoying. People beg for money. Well, that's more on my other slots where I have a lot of money and like I've been playing on those slots for a long time. People will beg for items, money. You know, that's just kind of how the game is. That's just kind of inevitable with, with a game like this um, so yeah you might want to like or maybe you just want to play by yourself you can't afford a VIP server that's what I do is I just got the Chrome extension Roblox plus so it's just like Roblox with a plus sign next to it and it allows you to just skip to the very end of like the server list and just like go to lobbies with one person in them and sometimes I'll even join the lobby with that one person and that one person will end up leaving and I'll just be in a lobby by myself for like hours on end without anybody joining it's pretty like it's the best way to to just be in a peaceful lobby no greet no like trolls no nobody doing crazy stuff and I always try to join people no offense but I always like you guys can see this guy has like an Xbox skin or like a like he doesn't he doesn't look like a hacker or like you know what I mean I always go for like lobbies that have people with like Xbox skins or like bacon hair but usually sometimes bacon heads they're actually alt accounts and they're actual hackers so I don't really join bacon hairs I try joining like Xbox accounts like accounts that have Xbox skins because I know that you can't exploit on Xbox so that's like the smart way of doing it basically is, is just you know yeah, that's how that's how I get into my lobbies. We're already almost at five thousand, so we're making some really really good money here from these birch trees. Not as much as I thought we were gonna make, to be honest. Thought we were gonna make a little more money, sir. Why are you in my car? You know what? You can just chill. You, you don't seem like you're harming anyone. You can chill in my car, sir. I don't have a problem with it. I'm just selling off my wood one by one, piece by piece. Just trying to make a profit, trying to make a living as a lumberjack here in the world of uh, Lumber Tycoon 2, Lumberland. Oh man, nothing like playing Lumber Tycoon 2, man. It's just a good game. 
it, it's honestly just like a really relaxing kind of game like you you know sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating you know there's a lot of glitches and stuff but it's a love-hate relationship honestly i've been playing this game for so long and it's just it's a love-hate relationship sometimes it's great sometimes it's not but you know you live you you just you just kind of enjoy it you learn to enjoy everything in life it's a good way to look at life honestly it's just just enjoy whatever's in front of you honestly even the bad stuff there's a lot of bad stuff in this world okay especially right now there was COVID is barely like starting to like come to an end there's a whole war in russia and you, you in ukraine right now and stuff like that all this stuff is going on and uh, yeah, you know, it's just, it's important to stay positive whenever possible. So that's what I try to do. That's what everybody should try to do. Um, oh no. Sir, why you fall off my truck, man? I was just trying to, I was just trying to sell my wood. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to be like at 10,000 by the end of this, hopefully. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say that. I want to be past 10,000 because if I get past 10,000, I can go and get a Rookery Axe. Which is going to be... Actually, no, I'm definitely going to get a, a Samo first. Maybe we might get... How much time do we have? We have four minutes, guys. Holy cow, I did... Dude, this game makes time go flying by. Like, the flies past. Like, it's nobody's business. Come here, sir. I'm going to throw you into this wood drop-off. Give me all the monies. Drive back up over here. You can see that guy's plot over there. Nice little humble plot. He only has two hundred dollars. Ah, you'll get there, buddy. Everybody, everybody goes through that phase of grinding for money. I'm going through it right now. It's great. I love it. I'm gonna keep on. Okay, we're gonna run out of wood here. I was hoping we would make a little bit more money than what we're making right now. But it's it is what it is, you know. You do what you can. You don't get upset. Okay, get that. Get that. And last piece of birch wood in the truck. So again, I'm actually you know, this guy's gonna fall out. I'm gonna put him in a passenger seat so you can be safe, bro. Put your seatbelt on, bro. Put your seatbelt on, man. You don't wanna fly out of this car. It's very dangerous. High speed racing. Just kidding, this car is super slow. Like, it's actually the slowest vehicle I've ever driven in my life. Excuse me. Okay. I'm not actually sure we're gonna reach 10,000. I was hoping we would reach 10,000. Uh, we might be like very close to it. But I don't think we're gonna reach 10k, to be honest. It's not looking great for us. But hey man, $8,000, we're making a good profit here, guys. Boom. Okay, so we're at $8,900. What I might do is chop a couple of cherry trees. Um, okay, there's no cherry trees around my base, so what I'm gonna do is I'm literally gonna move my base. I'm just gonna come over here. Oh look, there's a, actually a cherry piece right here. I'm gonna come over here, make sure that you put the, the car on the plot. I'm gonna reload my slot and we're gonna look for a slot that has a cherry tree nearby. Because basically what I'm trying to buy is the next sawmill and I think it's like 11,000. The one that I want is 11,000. Okay, like right there, there's a tree, two cherry trees right next to it. So we're gonna go ahead and get that land. And actually guys, we're out of time. Uh, I was getting all excited, ready to chop all these trees, but we're at 28 minutes and 54 seconds. So I think I'm gonna have to end this episode here. Um, but yeah guys, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more videos like these, comment down below what you want me to, you know, record in the future, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all later. Peace out.